We are running a 4-2-3-1. This is how it's going to look. You got your center backs, outside fullbacks, defensive mids, the attackers, attacking midfield, okay, and a striker. Now, in this video, we're going to look at two major things. Uh, the positioning from three different points, the defensive, and then in the transition into the offensive. All right, we're going to look where you're supposed to be in all three uh, aspects of the game. And the second thing will be the style of play from each position, addressing the skills you should have with the ball and the mindset you should have when you don't have the ball. Before we go position by position, here are the top five things you need to know about this formation. Our outside fullbacks must attack out wide. The defensive mids and the center attacker must stay central. This is not only key for defense, but also for the transition into offense. If we want to possess the ball, we must have angle movement and angle passes. The fourth thing is defend in your zones. Don't get ambitious and, and go and help out where you're not supposed to help out. Okay, Pick up the guys who come through your areas. And the fifth thing is that turnovers in the middle of the field are dangerous. Now, I know you know this already, but this is specifically for when we develop, when we transition into the offensive phase, when we have the outside fullbacks moving up, right? We have less defenders back. So any turnovers in the middle, uh, we're very susceptible to, uh, to through balls and, uh, and a fast transition the other way. All right, so keep that in mind. So moving on quickly, let's look at uh, the center backs to start out. This is the positioning box they live in. Okay, This is the extent that they go. You can think of yourselves as like a double sweeper situation. All right, You're the last line of defense. All right. If needed, you can drop back and help out the outside uh, fullbacks, in which case the defensive mids would drop back and take their spot. Here is your positioning in a defensive third. If in possession of the ball here, you cannot take any risks, all right? No turnovers. Without the ball in this area, you have to have a killer mentality, all right? You got to be a vocal leader, telling everybody where they should be, who to man up with, and protect the goal-scoring area, okay? In the middle third, uh, this is your positioning. And in the attacking third, this is your positioning. All right, you really don't go beyond the 50. Next to the outside fullbacks, your mentality should be 50% defense, but also 50% attacking. Your positioning is simple, not easy. Uh, it's outside the 18s all the way up and down the field. Okay, A lot of running, that's why it's not easy, but it's simple to understand. When in possession in a defensive third, you should look for an angle pass into the uh, defensive mid or the attacking mid on that side. If not in possession, you're looking to pick up anybody who comes through your zones here. If the ball's out wide on the one side, the defender should sink in uh, and protect you know, the, the goal scoring area. If the ball's in the middle third, whether we have possession or not, uh, you should be you know, up around the 50, you know, looking to be a part of the action. And if the ball's in the attacking third, you should also be up there supporting uh, the forwards. One of the typical plays is going to be a through ball to the outside fullback making a run, and then it's going to hit a cross in either a low drive or a, a looping cross to one of the forwards. The other outside back uh, should read the play, you know, most likely not run up uh, unless they, they feel they can get a nice cross in. Uh, but you don't want to exhaust yourself running up and back, up and back, you know, the entire game. So with the outside fullback, it's all about uh, understanding the situation, all right, uh, when to attack, when to defend. You know, keep in mind your defense first, but you are needed uh, for the offense as well. Next are the defensive mids, the most important position in this formation. This is the positioning box that they live in. You can see it's between the 18s and up to the offensive third. 
if in possession at this area uh, you're looking for a, a pass back to the outside defender, uh, an angle pass up to the attacking midfielder, or an angle pass up to the uh, center attacker. You are the key player for transition. If the outside fullback has the ball, you're going to move yourself into an angle for support, whereas the other defensive mid will then step up for an angle from there. If the attacking midfielder has the ball, you're going to angle yourself for support there, and the other defensive mid will drop back for more, uh, you know, more support. Again, trying to work the angles. All right. If one defensive mid goes up, the other one drops back a little bit. All right, and vice versa. You have to always want the ball. All right, constantly moving to support. Your two objectives in defending in the defensive third here are to force the play outside, right, because it's less dangerous that way, and protect the goal scoring area. Okay, that's up in here. Any shots from in there is dangerous. Jackson will tell you. In the middle third, you got to continue to want the ball. All right. Defensive mids, staggering yourselves, all right? not linear there, have an angle. You have to be a great passer. We cannot afford a turnover here. All right? Again, we're susceptible to uh, the fast transition, all right? the through balls, if we lose possession here. And you've got to make great decisions. All right? You've got to know, hey, do we have to do a, a quick pass to the corner here all right, for a fast break? Do we have to delay to allow the outside fullbacks to move up? All right? You've got to be a great decision maker. And when the ball's in the offensive third, you know, again, staggering yourselves. And don't get caught too far up, all right? That's pretty much the extent uh, of your range there. All right, if you go too far, we lose that defensive coverage that we need, right? Because if the outside fullbacks are making their way up, right, we only have two defensive men back, all right? So if you go up too far, we only have two defenders, maybe three, all right? So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. If we lose possession here, uh, you want to go straight back and, again, protect, protect the middle, all right? Don't attack. Don't try to cut it off, all right? Protect, you know, the dangerous areas. Allow time for the outside fullback to get back, okay? Next is the center attacker, and this is the position box that they will live in. You can see there's very little defense played, okay? They don't go beyond, too far beyond the circle. And, um, you know, there are opportunities when, uh, when up in the offensive zone to, uh, to sneak out to the corners for crosses as well, all right? When the ball's in the defensive third, all right, you're constantly angling yourself to receive the ball from whoever has it, all right? Constantly moving back and forth in the middle there, all right? but you're not going too far beyond that center circle. Now, if you drop back and help out on defense, sure, we may win the ball, right? But then, who are you going to outlet it to? Okay, we have a big vacancy there. That's the problem. Again, as we possess through the middle here, you're constantly angling yourself to receive a pass, okay? If you are the one with possession during a transition phase here, uh, you may want to lay it off to uh, the outside fullback, all right, play an angle out to the um, left attacker there, or even an angle up to the striker, okay, or even an angle back to the defensive mid. All right, there should be lots of options there, all right, you can either go fast-paced, you know, depending on the situation, like a fast through ball, or look to develop it back, you know, to, to, to buy some time to, to set up on offense. You can even look to switch the ball, to the, uh, the other side with a pass to the uh, right attacker who should be cutting in there. And if the ball's in the attacking third, you're expected to be a goal scorer. All right, so you're looking to either, you know, make a run in for a header, for a cross, right, or receiving a layoff pass from maybe the outside attacker or by, from the striker there and just hammering a shot on goal. All right, that's what you're expected to do. If we lose possession here, your objective is to harass the attacker uh, and uh, you know slow the play down to let our defenders get back in the position. And quickly, the next are the outside attackers. Here is the positioning box they live in. You know, note that they are not 
going outside too far, all right, because we're leaving that lane open, that flank open for the uh, outside fullbacks to make their runs. When defending in the defensive third, you're pretty much picking up anybody who comes in uh, these boxes here. When in possession down here at the outside fullback or at the defensive mid, uh, you're angling yourself, you know, to receive a pass from these guys, all right? You kind of just move into an angle. The opposite attacker would sink in at this point, okay? When in possession in the middle third there, you want to be more centralized, okay? You want to allow for that lane uh, for the outside fullbacks to make runs up the outside, all right? If you're, if you're in there, you're clogging it up with defenders, right? When in possession, a uh, typical play would be a, a layoff to the outside, a through ball to the outside there, to the outside defenseman, okay? Uh, a pass up to the uh, center attacker or striker, all right, or a pass back to defensive mid. When in the attacking third, you're expected to score goals. You may receive a layoff pass from the uh, outside fullback, all right, or the other uh, outside attacker should be ready for a cross, you know, from the, uh, from the fullback. If in possession here, you're expected to shoot or play a ball to the striker, right, or an outside ball, um, to the fullback making a run, all right, or a pass back to the defensive mid to swing it. All right, lots of options here, but you expect to attack and score. I guess to sum it up, you're going to stay more central. You're going to leave the flanks open for the outside fullback to make their runs, okay? It's not to say always stay central. All right, you're going to have your opportunities to go outside, but that's just like the mindset you should have. If we lose possession here, you're expected to delay any advancement, and lastly is the striker. Here's the position box they live in. You can see that they play pretty much no defense. Right? Do not come back to help. When the ball's in a defensive zone and they have possession, you have absolutely no defensive responsibilities. Okay? If we have possession, all right, what you're doing is you're just lingering up top, putting pressure on their defenders, right? Maybe back and forth depending on where the ball is. All right, just drawing their attention. And maybe every once in a while you get a through ball and just make a run, okay? Again, when the ball's in the middle third here, you're just putting pressure on their last defenders. Again, looking for a through ball, perhaps, all right? But you're checking to the ball, that kind of stuff. If you're in possession at this phase here, you're looking to take somebody one-on-one -on -one if you can. If it's not one-on-one, -on -one, if it's one-on-three, don't try it, all right? What you're going to do is you're going to try maybe, uh, uh, you know, delay the ball, you know, with a little layoff pass to the outside attackers there, a drop pass, a defensive mid, or, or the center attacker, all right? You're going to buy time, all right? You're going to play with your back to, the, to their goal pretty much the entire time, all right? So get used to that. With the ball in the offensive third, you're expected to score, all right? Lots of ways you can do this. If you possess at this point, you're obviously shooting. If not, you're either checking back to the ball to receive it or cutting through for a cross, all right, or heading back post for a cross. All right, lots of opportunities, but you're causing mayhem in, the, in your goal-scoring um, area, okay? Don't run like this because you get yourself tired. You're looking to receive through balls. You're looking to do layoff passes if you have it, all right, for one-time shots. Your only defensive responsibility is if we lose the ball here, all right, you're going to put pressure on it to delay their counterattack, okay? So here's a summary of everything, every position through the transitions, all right? The ball in the defensive third, all right? You can see with this formation, we really control the goal-scoring goal area here, all right, and the middle, okay? We have lots of angles already created, all right, for uh, transitioning uh, to offense. This is how we should look in the middle third. All right, controlling the middle. You see that? The middle, controlled. Don't leave it. And in the attacking third, you know, you can see we really flood the goal scoring area. Okay, make them defend us. Don't worry, if we turn the ball over, they should have a majority of the people 
with us, right? No matter where the ball is on the field, there's a common theme. We control the middle, and we have angles set up for possession. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, this is just the basics of the positioning. All right, from here we can set up plays and and get used to the the game situations and um, you know make things happen.